Hey folks, my name is Ravish and welcome back to another video in the series of real time issues in DevOps. All right. So uh, here we're going to talk about the real time issues that we generally face in our DevOps or Cloudwell. Okay. So the problem statement for today is, let's say you have a bug in production. Okay. So bug in production is one of the major issues that nobody wants in their lifetime in their product. Okay, so uh, there is a bug in production and uh, as a DevOps engineer, as a DevOps, what is your branching strategy or what would be your branching strategy? Okay, so first of all, I hope you already are aware about what exactly is branching strategy. But if you're not, I'm going to list down a video in the description section. You can go through and understand what exactly is branching strategy. In this video, we are not going to talk about that. We are going to talk about what branching strategy, what we are going to follow. Now, there are multiple branching strategies available over the market and over the world, but we are going to talk about one scenario in which we have a bug in production and how we are going to fix it. All right. So this would be the first thing. So I hope you have understood the part where uh, the problem statement. Okay. Now let's say, uh, let's talk about the solution. Okay. So I'm going to talk about the solution now. I'm sorry. Solution. Okay. Let me select some other color. I think green would be fine because solution. Okay. So let us consider that you have multiple environments over here. So this is first, this is second, and this is third for just the sake of it. We'll just name it dev. We can have this as stage and we can have this as production. Okay. There can be multiple environment in depending on the needs of your, uh, and on, of your organization, but we're going to, uh, just have two for the sake of it. All right. So now when you have three environments, you might be deploying your code into these environments one by one. All right. So there would be one master branch or you can say a main branch. Okay. So this is the branch that goes till production. Okay. So I'm going to name it like this. So this branch goes to the production. Now there would be one more branch that would be known as a stage branch. Okay. So stage branch could be the second branch and you can have multiple branches. I am just showing you the strategy, the very basic strategy, what you're going to do. Now this would be a dev branch. So I, in ideal scenario, what happens is if there is a developer over here, what he's going to do, he's going to take code from the dev branch as a feature branch, he's going to fix that piece of code if there is a bug and then push it over dev. And then after that, once this is tested in a dev environment, this moves on to the stage and then it is tested in the stage environment and this moves on to the production environment. And then after that, the release happens. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to select some other pen. Okay. So this is tested before it is merged. Okay. Tested. And then after that, a PR is raised. PR is a pull request or a merge request. Some people call it. And then it is merged. Same here. It is tested over here. And then a PR is raised or a merge request is raised, is checked. And then same thing happens over here. Now the scenario happened over here is you tested everything in the dev environment. You tested everything in the stage environment, but the bug got into production. There could be multiple reasons about it. There could be anything about it. And uh, we are not in a blame game here that uh, a tester did not test it professionally. A de tester, uh, I did not, he did, he did not understand it. Uh, so that's why there is a bug in production. Okay. We're not going to, not going to play blame games over here. Okay. We are talking about the solutions. If you want to be a good engineer, good, good DevOps engineer, never play the blame, blame games. Always look for the solution. Okay. So let's talk about the solution now. Uh, I hope you have written it. Uh, let me scroll through now. So, uh, now the solution, what is going to happen over here is let me select something else. So, okay. I'll select this turquoise. Okay. So now what will happen is there can be multiple ways you can fix this. If I already have three branches that are running over here, this is dev, this is stage, and this is now we are talking about branches. So this branches are created in GitHub or Git. Okay. We'll take example of Git hub. Okay. So there is one branch dev stage, and this is the production branch. Now I'm going to talk about one way. So this can be asked in multiple interviews. What would you do? So solution could be 
you do not have necessarily go through the dev branch because uh, there would be multiple developers who are on some other code having their feature branches so this is known as the concept of back merge so what you will do you will take this production branch you'll create a feature branch from this you'll fix that piece of code over here test it and then you will raise a merge request or a pull request over here and then it goes to production branch now consider a scenario and do not get confused what i'm going to try you uh, try to tell you right now at the time of release the production code was at x position but now after this feature merge it is x dash and a lot of people get confused and fail to explain this so x dash is now the code and it is deployed to the production and my bug is fixed okay so a lot of people stop answering at this position okay i have taken a feature branch from here fix that code tested it merge request pull request and then merge the code back to the production branch and then deploy it to the production everything is sorted no now this piece of code which is has made x to x dash this piece of code that a developer has fixed has to go inside stage has to go inside dev branch and this is called as back merge or a down merge because if tomorrow you're going to fix some code in dev and go to stage and then go to production this piece of code won't be there right so in order to keep this this and this at the same code in the sync you have to back merge it so this would be your branching strategy so i hope you have understood it so what you have to do is you have to take this piece of code raise a pull request or a merge request to merge this code into stage and that again the same piece of code into this now what will happen is let me scroll it down now what will happen it your stage is here your prod is here and your dev is here okay so once this is done this code which is in here the extra code let me name it extra this extra code this extra code would be raised with a pr and now this if this gets approved the stage has the same code and again a pr then this has the extra code so now all of them are in sync so this is one branching strategy that you can follow so i hope you folks have understood it let's reiterate let me go over here so what is the issue what was the that the bug is there in the production as a devops you have to design a branching strategy to fix it now you are not going to fix the code the developers are going to fix the code but you need to tell them a branching strategy or you have to define it there are three environments dev stage and production master main or production can be called as one branch stage can be called as one branch dev can be called as front branch the ideal scenario is you take a feature branch from dev you fix the code push it to stage and then to master and then you release it to the production environment that's what you do now in this scenario the bug is in the production so what you will do is you're not gonna do it from dev stage or prod ideal scenario i mean there can be multiple things but this is one of the scenarios and you can give the solution to someone who who is your interviewer you're going to take a feature branch out of it and then you're going to fix that code test that code raise a mr or a pr push that code into the production branch push into production and then your issue is sorted after that take that piece of code push it backward back merge or down merge to stage again the same thing to dev branch and all of them even even if you have multiple multiple branches over here you're going to do the same thing to every branch and your code would be fixed and everything would be done all right so this is how you're going to do it so now after that is done this production stage and dev branch all are in sync and all has the same code so this is a one solution of a real time issue that you you have been asked a lot of times and even i asked in the interviews what would be the branching strategy all right so i hope you have understood this folks and if there is anything feel free to comment below and i will address that so thanks guys and i will see you in the next one